Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I wanted to talk about the Artengo TR960 Control Tour. You might know it from the Australian Open where a certain guy Monfils has made the switch. He is now playing with this racket, likely, very, very, very likely customized to his specs. But it um, is a new racket for him. He used the Wilson Ultra Pro for most of his career. That is called the H19 in Pro Stock Code very heavy specs and uh, he hits a big ball it's a very control oriented racket such as as is the artengo racket especially if you don't add weight then i think it's a little bit unstable but we'll get to that so the presentation i got i was sent this racket from artengo um, and it came in this really cool box with kind of plexiglass inside uh, so it, i open it up and you have this this cool glassy box here uh, so really, really nice. The issue was that maybe the racket bounced around a bit, so it got some paint from the stencil uh, that I have now played away. And you can see it here. Uh, there, it, there was some paint here, and and um, also the string job is not the most attractive when they don't cut off those that extra string like that. But otherwise, um, this racket has really impressed me. Uh, I, I was a little bit skeptical, to be fair. I mean, the specs are uh, quite uh, low in weight for such a control-oriented racket. Uh, so let's get into them. Uh, they're listed here. Uh, so the this weight is 307 grams unstrung. That's not bad. That's pretty much like a blade. Head size 97 square inches. So it's similar to these 98s, but more like a Pro Staff 97 for example or the ultra pro which they pretty much base this one on my guess is that this will be available in both 16 19 and 18 20 this is the 18 20 version and it has a 31.5 centimeter balance so you add strings you're gonna bump it up to 32.5 centimeters approximately so the issue with these types of rackets same with the ultra pro is that the swing weight is very low so that there's not enough mass in the head and i noticed this on my first hit with this frame as well i always try my rackets in stock form but before i try to customize them it actually had a a 311 strong swing weight. I don't know what strings there are in here. It's some kind of poly, probably from Artengo. Plays nicely, no reason for me to cut it out. Um, but yeah, the swing weight is a bit too low for this kind of racket and I felt like it was hard to get the plow through and the, the stability on shots when I, when I played with it. So on the second hit, um, I decided to add uh, a bunch of weight. Not crazy amounts, you know, around four or five grams in the end, which is a, a bit. Um, I added copper tape two strips of about this amount covering here up to the second or yes 2.5 crosses so it's quite a bit of, of copper tape but copper tape is lighter than lead tape if I did this with lead tape it would be it would be heavier and the swing weight would be higher the idea behind adding this weight was that I wanted it to be more in my spec I want to try it with my specs and I also felt like the racket is not stable enough similar to the ultra pro from Wilson in stock form so i always recommend players to customize if they like these kind of advanced player frames because you're not going to get a lot of power for free so that's very good to put that out there if you don't want to customize a frame i don't think you're going to get enough power that is the issue here the name for a frame like this would be a platform frame where it's actually kind of ready and made for customization then you add the weight you need that kind of thing i like a lot I don't mind that but for some players i don't think uh, it, it's gonna be their cup of tea to add weight and and balance it the way they want these frames are made for advanced players if you're not an advanced player or you don't like these kind of control rackets there's so many other frames on the market that you can go for it plays fine in stock form so otherwise uh, very impressed with this frame i mean I was a bit worried when I saw that there was paint there and it looked a little bit cheapish in the, the finish. Nothing wrong with the paint job, I was just a little bit concerned that uh, it might be something that they want to sell and they got Monfils as a guy to endorse it. He's going to sell a lot of rackets even if they're not good, you know, how, how big companies tend to work. So that concerned me. Um, but and I really like this frame. It has really nice sensation. With my specs, I feel like I get good power, uh, nice on serve, can hit some good forehands, nice slides. I don't really see any weaknesses from a control racket point of view with this frame. Kind of rivals the Prestige MP 2019 that I use regularly and um, has some silicone in the handle. So it's kind of like ready to go with some weight. It's just just a very very nice frame but you need to be open to customization if you're not doing that it's not gonna be your thing i think 
but if you're open to doing that, this racket really uh, is impressive in the terms of how it feels, performs, good control, uh, everything pretty much works but no free power, no free lunch. So well done, Artengo, you did your homework. Uh, I guess this was a job together with Gaim Office. I think he is playing with this mold. It's not like he's using something else. He's definitely customizing it. I can even tell from how it plays the sound, looking at studying his, the pictures of him holding the racket and so on at the price point, uh, which would be around, I think, 100 euro plus something 120 euros maybe i saw 99 pounds on their website the uk website this is not the only endorsement racket they have they have oliver marach the doubles player he's uses the uh, artengo tr 990 pro plus i think it's an extended power frame and also daria kasatkina uses the tr 990 which is kind of the the more pure drive style frame the more power frame and i, I know people that use it that really like it and the price point being like less than half of what uh, most retail rackets cost it's kind of hard to beat and i haven't tried it uh, i i'm now very curious to do so after playing with this one and being so impressed by it that's kind of my first impressions maybe i will learn something if i restring or not but overall uh, two thumbs up for the artengo control tour uh, 960 uh, i hope you found this uh, review useful and let me know if you try this racket what you think about it i had a friend trying it he said he also liked it uh, but he preferred the prestige i think he liked the feeling a bit more if you want to support the work i do please check out patreon.com slash tennis nerd where i talk about my racket collection behind the scenes stuff and so on you can also support by buying something from my affiliates, the links are in the description. Player Court, they offer a platform to find a coach or a hitting partner, 50% off with my link. And if you want to buy a racket or a string or shoe, check out Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, and Tennis Only Lills are my affiliates. The links are in the description. Thanks everyone for your support. Have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis. Det är bra. Nej, bra. Så är det.